Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't filmed like this for so, so long. The last videos I did was Vlogmas. Um, so yeah, welcome back. I'm gonna be doing this glam, full glam makeup routine today. This is just something that I have been doing for the longest time now. Showing you the products that I've been using forever. Um, I have just done a look fantastic order and I've got so many new products, but I didn't wanna do a makeup routine using those products because I've not tried them yet. So I wanted to show you what I've been using for forever now. Um, I will link everything down below for you as much as I can. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry the lighting goes up and down in this video. Um, it was really sunny and has been really sunny all morning and all of a sudden it's a pure snowstorm and I'm so confused, don't understand what's going on. But it's fine, we live in the UK, it's bound to happen. As always, please do like and subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying it here. Um, I had January off and I am back now. Um, I have been vlogging a few bits as well, so if you do want to see my vlogs, and other videos that I'm going to be doing, then please do subscribe, it really, really means a lot to me. So if you want to see this look and how I do it, please do carry on watching and yeah, enjoy! Okay guys, so as I mentioned, this is going to be, I want to say a full glam, but I don't really do a full glam anymore. And I have had some new products from Look Fantastic this week that I really want to try, so I probably shouldn't have done a makeup routine today. But I'm just going to show you what I've been doing for the longest time now. For when I like go out or I'm doing content, like anything like that. Okay, I'm just going to shut up and go on with it. I got this off Amazon and it came with like loads of brushes in it. And the brushes are actually really good. Like I can't complain about the brushes at all. Yeah, I'm going to start with my brows because if I was going out then I would start with my brows. Okay, so what I've been using recently, I've probably been using this for about since the start of December. So this is the Sleek Microfine Brow Pencil in dark brown. It's actually really good. I literally picked this up because um, I'd run out of brow products, and I was like, I just, I was in, I was in Birmingham, and I was about to go to work, and I really just needed a brow product, so I just literally went into Boots, and I picked this up. And I would definitely buy it again. Um, I've got quite full brows anyway. So for me, it's like, I just like to fill them in the slightest bit, make them a little bit longer um, and just fill in any gaps, which I think is just what everybody does. But my brows are quite full anyway. Um, I do dye them like every couple of months with the Eyelaw. Um, what's it called? The Eyelaw Brow Tint. But they are pretty full anyway. Like literally all I do. Oh, they look so full on there. They don't look that full in my life. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have quite thick hair, so. I do. This one looks so much more full. It doesn't look much more full in my life. I don't know what's going on. Then I have been taking the, um, this is just the collection Incredibrow, tinted brow mascara, really cheap, really simple. I don't really like the full like laminated look for my brows. Um, they suit me when they're a little bit more natural. So I literally just use this all over them just to kind of not set them in place. But like, also yeah, set them in place, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I guess this um, this brow gel isn't like as, it doesn't like glue them in place like most eyebrow gels do. If this was like a daytime look, I would not be going into this much. Like, I wouldn't be doing this much. But if you do want to see like a no makeup makeup look, then let me know. Because that is literally what I do every single day. I just take, this came, this is actually from a Primark set. Um, they might still have it. It was just like a pack of five brushes from Primark. Really cheap, really easy. And then I take the Maybelline, whatever it's called, Anti-Age Eraser in one. And this is light. Um, I think it's called light. And then just take that on the brush. I 
then I will take, um, these are one of the Amazon brushes. These come in like a 24 pack of loads of different brushes. I just take this one and my NYX HD finishing powder and just go over my eyes with that. This creates like a really nice um, light base for where I'm going to put my brown eyeshadow. Mm, this one is kind of a weird shape. Um, yeah, it's just like a blending brush for eyeshadow. It is actually a Morphe brush. I think it's the M433. It's all rubbed off, but I think it's that. Um, and then I just take whatever bronzer I'm going to be using. I've been using this is actually disgusting because it's so battered and I have to keep it in its own little pot so that it doesn't go anywhere. Um, but I have been using the Primark bronzer as eyeshadow and bronzer recently. It's amazing and it's one pound. Um, this is in the shade Suspect. It's like a... It's quite a dark one to be honest, like an orangey dark toned one. Um, but it's great for eyeshadow and I like to use that as the bronzer as well, just because it I feel like it ties it all in a little bit better. looks crazy I look so much paler on this than I do in real life but it's fine you like a little bit of crazy a little bit um and then I'll just take what uh, the brush that I just used for the concealer on my eyes I will just take that and kind of run up there to kind of sharpen that um and then like I said because this is like a going out look or like a glam look I will take a darker brown colour usually I'm going to combine the brush. One of the other Amazon brushes. Whichever one is like this shape, size. Um, and then I will go in with my Soft Glam palette from Anastasia. And just usually take this. This is absolutely bad. I'm so sorry, but I've had it for so long now. But I use it every day. Um, this little light brown colour here, which is called Rustic. And I'll just go in the crease and the outer edge with that. <laughs> brush and this is another one of the Amazon ones as well Um, just go in with my powder again where I put it earlier just to kind of brighten that base bit up that hasn't got any colour on it I just kind of like to keep that with no colour on it just I feel like because I've got brown eyes my eyes don't really stand out but then I will take my liquid eyeliner um, I was for ages using the dark brown from this palette as like an eyeliner but I have gone back to liquid because I feel like it's just a bit bolder and it makes everything look a little bit more put together but if um, I wanted to go for more of a like, natural look then I would use my dark brown as eyeliner rather than my liquid but for this video I'm going to use my liquid because I've been really enjoying using it again. Um, and then I'll just go back in with that foundation, not the foundation, the concealer brush that I used earlier and just get rid of any con uh, any eyeshadow. I can't speak today guys. Um, any eyeshadow that is underneath where I have put the eyeliner line. Um, I've also, usually I would put um, in my tight line a black pencil eyeliner. I've been using this one from Maybelline but before that I was using one from Clinique and it was so nice and then I've moved on to this Maybelline one um because that one ran out and I'm just not loving it as much. This tends to go like everywhere and like leaks everywhere um and just moves quite a lot so I don't know how this is going to go, how it's going to last but I'm going to use it for the purpose of this video because that is what I would usually do with my Clinique one um but I do need to get a new one of these because 
I'm just not really getting on with this Maybelline one. It's really good, it's very pigmented. Um, and like a very good eyeliner, but it just goes everywhere. And I will take my mascara. I've just been using any mascara that I can get my hands on at the moment. I'm using this Primark one. I don't really tend to use mascara that much because I wear lashes. Um, so I just grabbed this one. I can't remember how much it was now, but it's actually really good. It's meant to be a dupe for... I can't remember which dupe it is, but yeah, it is good. I like it. It doesn't go everywhere. Although, I am going to start using tonight the Rapid Lash Serum because my eyelashes are so short, which is why I always wear lashes. Um, but I've bought a new serum from Look Fantastic and it's had really good reviews. I've seen people use it and have got really good results, so I'll tag it down below um, if you want to use it as well. Um, but I can't wait to see some long lashes because I've never had long lashes in my life and a lot of people have said that it really does work. So I'm hoping it does. Right, now I'm going to move on to my face. I have obviously prepped my skin before I started this video. Um, and ha when I've been going out or when I've been going to an event or when I've been filming content or whatever, I have been using a combination of the Maybelline Superstay in 36, I think, Warm Sun. This is a really high coverage foundation. Um, meant to be a dupe for Huda Beauty's foundation. Um, I can't remember what it's called. But it's very good. I really do like it. A lot of people have told me that they've had big breakouts using this foundation. But I've never had any problems. Um, it's a really great foundation. Makes my skin look amazing. It's still super hydrating even though it is quite um, high coverage. And then I mix a little bit of the True Match L'Oreal in as well. In shade 5.5. I do need a lighter colour in this. Because as you can tell this is not my colour. Um, but for when I do her, like fake tan and stuff. This is great. Really hydrating. Really lovely on it's own as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, a really lovely foundation on it's own. If you do want to use that. Um, great for dry skin. I can't say enough about this foundation. It's really really nice. Very buildable as well. If you do want low coverage it's great for that. If you want high coverage it is very buildable. Um, but I just mix a little bit in with this one when I do want a super high coverage foundation. This is very very good. Um, I have been mixing them together on the back of my hand. I'm going to zoom out a little bit just so you can see. Um, yeah I've been using these together on the back of my hand and then using a flat foundation brush to put it on my face. And then I take a flat top brush to kind of like blend it in. But again, I have bought a new sponge from Look Fantastic because I did go back to using brushes for my foundation and then didn't really get on with it. Um, but I threw my sponge away because it was disgusting. So I have got a new sponge. Um, so usually I'll put it on with this, blend it with either that flat top brush or the sponge. But anyway, I'm going to do it. Let's get on with it and I'll show you. I usually take two pumps of this one on the back of my hand. Um, it's definitely going to be too dark for me because I haven't got much fake tan on. But um, I would usually have a lot of fake tan on. So, <laughs> um, And then just one pump, kind of like half a pump um, of the True Match. Mix that in on the back of my hand, as you can see. Completely wrong colour, but it's fine. <laughs> I just take the rest of it on the back and kind of, I kind of always have to put a little bit more here, otherwise it doesn't blend very well. Sometimes if my skin isn't in great condition I will put an extra pump of the Superstay on, but I don't really need to at the moment. I don't need to anyway, but <laughs> just for my own personal insecurities. I do usually have to go back with my eyebrows because I forget that I'm being really rough and then end up smudging my eyebrows everywhere. Right. Okay, moving on to concealer. I just take the concealer that I used earlier on my eyelids. Um, same brush. Um, there's always usually some coming out of it. I do take the, the sponge off this. Everyone always asks why it doesn't have a sponge. Um, I do take it off because I feel like it holds a lot of the product. Um, and you can usually get a lot more out of it if you take the sponge off. And then sometimes, not all the time, 
I'll put a bit here and a bit here, but I feel like it's quite like heavy when I do that. Um, I don't really need to. And then I'll take this flat top brush again, which I know is so bad, but I'll take that just to blend everything out. And then if I feel like I need to brighten my inner corner a little bit more, um, I will go in with my Collection Last Imperfection one. This is a lot lighter than that one. And I'll just put a little bit in each corner, but I don't feel like I need to do that today. Um, so I'm not going to. And then I will just let that set for a minute. Go back over where I have moved my brows <laughs> with my brow gel again. I will take my NYX HD finishing powder again and the same brush that I use with um, my eyelids. Is that the right word? Yeah. <laughs> um, just go over where I've kind of put the concealer. This um, powder is very like pore filling, which is what I need. <laughs> my pores are freaking huge. Um, so I'll just go over any bits where I've put the concealer really. I kind of, I like my skin to look a bit glowy, so I don't like to use this too much. This looks very bright. Is this really bright, or is it just me? Do we need it on a warm setting? Is that better? No. No. But I will take down a little bit. And then, is it going darker? I'm really confused what's going on. I don't know what's going on with the lighting, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there like that. Hope for the best. Um, I think because I was zoomed in a little bit, wasn't I? There we go. Okay, powder's done. Um, and then, Primark bronzer again. Again, it was a pound, and I love it. And I will take another one of my Amazon brushes. I just can't like this slanted one. I will link these Amazon brushes below for you. My brother bought me them for Christmas, but I did point them out to him. Um, <laughs> I'll just kind of take that and go where you would usually contour I've got a massive forehead so this kind of aims to make it less big snowing what's going on with the world guys and then I would take the breast and just go along my jawline I haven't had any filler for the longest time now guys so I actually haven't got any left in my face um, so I need all the contour that I can get then I have been taking my Primark blusher Sorry, I forgot the word then. Primark Blusher in the shade in the pink. It is so nice. It looks really bright on here. But it was, again, a pound. Like, it's insane for a pound. Um, very, very pigmented. Very, very pink. So I just take a little bit on the brush and then blow it a little bit because it is very pink. And just kind of go above where I've put the contour on both sides. And then once the product is all kind of off the brush, I'll just blend it in a little bit more. Go up to my temples as well, trying to get that snitch look. As well, it's got a little bit of a glow to it. Um, it's really, really nice. It's literally a pound and it is incredible and I would definitely buy it again. Um, so if you're looking for a new blusher that you want to try out, but you don't want to spend too much money, Primark is the one, guys. Okay, so I'm going to stick my lashes on now. In fact, no, I'm going to go over with the same powder brush and my powder and just kind of sculpt out underneath. I feel like this really just like neatens everything up and blends everything together nicely. Yeah. Um, then I will take some lashes, which I have no idea where they are. Um... You're going to have to hold up for a minute because I don't want to put my lashes. 
Okay, my camera is flashing, guys. I'm going to be really quick. But the lashes that I've been using recently are the Kiss lashes. I did try to go for some smaller lashes just for, like, daytime. And then I realised they weren't thick enough for the nighttime. Um, so I actually stuck two pairs together. They're not my favourite lashes that I have ever worn. Um, usually I would go for the Isle of Bad and Bougie, which I absolutely love. Um, but we're rolling with it. Um, I'm just going to put the glue on my eyelid. This is a great trick for your eyelashes to stay on. I put the glue on there first and then I put it on the lashes as well. That I think I don't like these because they're so thick with two together but they're also quite short so they don't really look good as thick lashes but um, not paired together they're quite thin and they're more like my daytime lashes so I've kept them together <laughs> and whilst they are just like doing their thing and going sticky um, I'm gonna do my lips my favourite ever lip liners are from Primark, again I love Primark Beauty, um, they are Toffee and Toast, so I take Toffee which is a little bit darker and I just do the top outline and then I go on the bottom as well. That is the shit, I just use that one to where um, I overline a little bit. And then I take toast, which is a little bit lighter, and just blend that in. And then kind of just like rub them together. So they look a bit like that. Um, and then I go in with the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline or Butterscotch. I'm going to use Madeline today. These are my favourite nude lip glosses ever. Um, they're like... They're not super shiny, which I like. And they have a bit of colour to them as well, which looks great. I'm obsessed with them. They're like in between a lipstick and a gloss they're not sticky at all really really lovely i love them they're my favorite ever um madeline is my favorite and then i also use butterscotch as well sometimes right let's stick these lashes on my camera is going to die guys i'm sorry if i don't finish this in time um but i'll try my best anyway let's stick these lashes on <laughs> These are really, really thick, guys. That again, they are two pairs of lashes stuck together. They don't suit me that well, but I'm all out of my other thick lashes, so these are just gonna have to do for today. This bit is like sticking out. And then I will take my, um, once they are stuck down properly, which they're absolutely not right now, but it's fine. <laughs> um, I will take this little slanted brush, which again is from my pack of Amazon ones, which is really nice. And the dark brown from my soft glam palette. Again, you can use any dark brown. Um, and then just go in the corner here and just kind of elongate the corner of my eye. Just literally dab it on, that's all it needs. Just creates that like little bit of cat eye look, kind of. Um, and then sometimes I will literally just leave it there, depending on how I feel. Um, and just leave the under eye done but today I am going to do a little bit more underneath because we're doing a glam look guys so why not and now take the my soft glam palette again again this like light brown colour here that I use what did I use it for earlier oh the crease in my eye um, and just go underneath slightly joining it up at the end I usually don't go all the way to the corner of my eye um, but sometimes it looks quite nice when it blends with that little bit of dark brown that we just made the cat eye with. And usually by this point, the, the eyeliner that I've put on the top in my tight line has kind of transferred it a little bit to the waterline. So I don't usually need to put too much eyeliner on my waterline, which is nice. Then I will take the dark brown that I just used for the corner on a more smaller brush. And this is from that Primark pack, the same one as my concealer brush. 
um, and just go over that light brown but just on the edge um, and then I'll just finish off with a little bit of the same mascara on the bottom um, I am just going to quickly go back over with my pencil eyeliner just to kind of pull the look together completely just a little bit sorry guys it did cut off at the end there but I did just finish doing my eyeliner and that was kind of it thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to get down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me um, if you do want to see how I cut my hair or if you want to see any of the videos or you want to see my skincare routine if you want to see fashion videos um, do let me know I get up to so much more over on TikTok recently so I will link everything down below all the products I've used um, what I used to do my hair and I will link all my social media as well down below so yeah I'll leave all that information in your hands and you can do what you will with it but please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you want to see more of me and I will hopefully see you in my next one thanks bye guys I've got a little swollen taste board and it's really hurting me I don't know if you can see it there <gasps> so swollen anyway bye